Well, to your point about the 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 I mean, the, the the spatial economic spatial division of labor, and one of the things that that I that's kind of bothered me a bit about this argument about remote work and we have to be in the office or not is to your point is we've been doing remote however you want to describe it or for a long time because when you say like okay well i'm in the office in austin and you're in the office in miami and you're in the office in lunt like that's remote i don't care if we're all in offices or all in tiny op like we're still doing some sort of piece of remote and there is that as you say it's the it's the meta on top of it that's driving those and when i think of, of a spatial division of labor i think like you like austin and miami and nashville didn't come out of nowhere they came out of a historical set of relationships now i'm lucky enough as we talked about i know austin because i went there a lot you know and i know your current mayor and i know your chamber of commerce and I used to talk at the 360 Summit, and Austin was a big inspiration to my book. So I know the place, and I remember it was probably Pike Powers who said this to me. I'm not sure, but I think it was Pike. We'd have these missions every year to Silicon Valley to tell those companies to come to Austin. Like, okay, so you've been doing that for 40 years. You have a fabric of – now, I know enough about Miami to know that what Miami has been doing for a long time is attracting people from New York. You don't call someplace the sixth borough. (laughs) <laughs> for like no reason. Right. So Miami has always had this. And it, and because of the, the migration of Cuban bankers right, to Miami a long time ago, it's always been a financial center for Latin America. But, you know, New Yorkers would come here when they get older and tighter of the cold. So, yeah, it wasn't. And that's when people said Miami's a tech hub. I'm like, no. Yeah, yeah there's some of these guys. Who but really, Miami is a financial hub tied to New York and, and also with Ken Griffin to Chicago, but Ken Griffin really has a presence in New York. And the same thing with Nashville. You know, I know Nashville a lot. I've been writing, I love music scenes like the Austin scene. And it was very clear to me that Nashville has long established ties to LA. You know, it, it's just something that has been there for a long time. And so, yeah, it's not just remerged with remote. There's always been the spatial division of labor. And then with remote work, it went, oh, all these people are moving. And there was a whole narrative, right? moving away from the blue cities and the regulations and the governance and all this bullshit. But what you find now is that New York is even stronger as a, as stronger as a financial center. And, you know, Austin, Austin is a real tech hub. I've always said this. Austin is very different than Miami. Don't lump them together. But, you know, San Francisco now, when you look at it in AI, looks like the place to be. Even now we've seen these mea culpas, right? I think you probably saw the one in the Wall Street Journal. Oops, we got it wrong. San Francisco's back. It's this incredible sense of AI talent. And it's, you know, even, even with all the problems, it's, it's, it's coming back again strong. And I think thinking about Austin and San Francisco together, thinking about Miami and New York together, thinking about LA and Nashville together is a better way of thinking about it than all these independent spatial division of labor. They're not all these independent little nodes. These places are kind of connected in a fabric that when you think about it has some logic and structure underpinning.